Hi everyone. So today we're going to go from this to this, from clean and polished to dirty and smudgy. And along the way, we're going to learn some tools that we could use and we could apply this to, um, to different the materials, to dirty them up. Uh, it could be glass on, on these cups like this, or it could be, um, the, the, the windshields on a car or the, the, the windows on a house. And the reason why is that in the next few videos, I want to concentrate on how to add imperfections to our images. I think um, that's the key to elevating our photorealism and making our images more interesting, giving it um, that, little, that little spark of interest is to just find ways to add imperfections, right? Such as this, such as exist in real life. If you look at the best images out there, uh, these artists are, are finding ways to make their images more real by adding imperfections. And we'll see more ways to do that in the next few videos. So I took these glasses, I exaggerated the effect, obviously. I have some, uh, some lipstick stain here, some fingerprints, some uh, dried up wine stains, some wine legs. I exaggerated the effect a little bit so that you guys could see them on here. Uh, but I took these same cups and I rendered them out. And here's the result, uh, a little bit more subtle here, but you could see it adds for a little bit um, more interest and it just it looks, uh, it looks pretty cool. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two videos. So on uh, the first video, this one, I'm going to show you guys how to do the fingerprints and the lipstick stain. And then on the next video, I will go into how to do the interior, um, the stains on the interior, as well as these wine legs. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, everyone. So here is the scene. As you can tell, it's a very simple scene, just a very simple studio setup. Um, just to have the, the glasses over a surface and some, uh, some lighting all around, some rim lighting. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this scene out for download. If you guys visit my, uh, my blog, the link is on the description below. Uh, you'll be able to download the scene. And if you want to, you could follow along. All the textures are, are made by me. So you could go ahead and use those as well. So let's get to it. We have here the two glasses. Um, here is a render of what I have thus far. Let's get the material editor in here. And this is the glass material that I currently have, which is right now just a clean polished glass. Um, I got the, the diffuse on black, the reflect on pure white, uh, glossiness in 0.99, refract pure white, um, the IOR 1.55, it's just the standard that I do for glass. Uh, I know that the exact number is like a little bit 1.51 1 something, but I just, 1.55 works well, and um, and no fog, right? So the fog at, at, is just white. So the first thing I want to do is the fingerprints, right? So to do this, I think what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to focus just on this glass right here, and let's add the fingerprints over on this glass. So we want to get a fingerprint mask, right? And you can find these online. Um, I've, uh, I've actually just created my own out of some images that I found online. And as a matter of fact, I'll make this available in the file so you guys could use this. But if you find your own fingerprint uh, um, textures online and you can just go on Photoshop and make it tileable and kind of play with the contrast and just create your own, it should work just as well. So let's go ahead and bring that mask in. And um, the way we're going to map it is using a V-Ray triplanar. And the reason why is that um, if I add a UVW map, I'm gonna do so for the lipstick stain. I don't wanna have to add different channels and stuff, so I'm just gonna map this V-Ray, uh, sorry, this uh, fingerprint stains with the V-Ray triplanar texture, which just creates its own mapping, um, depending on the size you give it. So we just plug the texture onto the texture slot. Let's add an output so that we can control the um, the brightness of the mask and thus the how smudgy it looks on the glass added to the um, ref, ref, uh, reflection glossiness. There it is. Right now, let's go on the V-Ray triplanar texture. And um, I guess we just figure out how, how big this should be. Let's say this is maybe about, um, I don't know, eight inches squared. So I'm going to put here eight inches. Um, how much does that come up to be in centimeters? You Europeans can go figure that out. So I will add that eight inches. And then now, uh, from what we could tell here, it's probably going to be too smudgy. So let's see what it looks like. So let's apply the material onto the cup. 
and let's render that out. All right, so right away we could see it's it's not bad. We definitely see the effect of the fingerprints on here. It's showing up pretty exaggerated. So that's the reason why I added an output here. Now we could come in the output and control the curves, uh, which controls how bright, how 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 contra the contrast between the whites and the blacks on this image, and thus um, it it'll, it'll affect how smudgy, how much the smudginess of the fingerprints show. So let's enable the color map uh, and let's add, let's play with these curves here. I just added a point here. Let's make, first of all, the whites more white so that the glass is more transparent. The areas that don't have fingerprints will hopefully be more transparent. And let's get rid of some of that smudginess, a little bit too exaggerated. Uh, there we go. Let's add another point here, maybe down below. Let's make the fingerprints themselves. All right. Good. All right. So it really was that simple, guys. With just a few clicks, using the V-Ray triplanar texture and that mask, we were able to do some, uh, some fingerprints smudged onto the glass. Now, let's move on to the lipstick stain. How do we do that? Well, the way I'm going to do it is using a V-Ray blend material, right? So a V-Ray blend material, for those of you that are unfamiliar, just combines two materials using a mask. So the mask will, the whites will say where one material goes and the black part of the mask will say where the other material goes. So I have the V-Ray blend material. Now I'm going to get a lipstick mask. And what I did was I just went online. I looked up for some, uh, some lipstick diffuse, uh, sorry, some lipstick uh, texture or some lips texture. And I just colored the red areas white and the white areas black. It gave me this mask right here, right? You could find this online, like I, like I mentioned. I just went on here, lipstick opacity texture, and right away and Google gave me a couple of images that I used. And that's all I really use. So let's go ahead and bring this lips opacity mask on here. And first of all, let's hook up the glass material to the base lot of the V-Ray blend material. Let's create a new material for the... Uh, lipstick. So let's call this lipstick. And uh, let's, um, for the color, what I'm going to use is a V-Ray color texture. So just a solid color and then apply that to the diffuse lot. And this will allow us to determine the color of the lipstick, right? So I'm just going to do some random red color or something like this. Um, yeah, something like that for now. All right, so same as we always do, reflect white, refract, leave that, uh, yeah, leave that black. Um, that's good for now. Let's apply this to the uh, coat one slot. So this is going to be the second material. Let's apply the opacity to the... Um, Let's use this opacity also for bump. So let's put this in the bump slot. But I want the the lipstick to just bump out very a very minute amount. I mean, the lipstick is just on the surface. It's very, very little. So meaning something maybe like one, maybe even less than one uh, on the bump slot here. And then let's use an output to control uh, how much V-Ray blends. So I'm going to hook up the mask to an output. And then that output to the blend slot on the V-Ray blend material. And using this output, now we can control how much trans or how transparent that lipstick stain is. And you'll see later on once we do that. So that's good for now. Now, how do we map this lipstick texture onto that rim? All right. So what I like to do is I create a temporary, temporary V-Ray material because when an item is transparent, you can't really see on, on the viewport the texture. So I'm going to use a, an, an opaque uh, material, just a standard view material. I'm going to apply the mask onto the diffuse slot. I'm going to make this sure that this is um, visible on the viewport, so show shaded on viewport. And now temporarily, let's increase the size of this viewport here, and let's apply this material onto the glass temporarily. Okay. So here it is. 
So now we see the lipstick mask on the glass. Now we don't want this pattern of lipstick of lips on there. I don't want a hundred lips on my glass. I just want one set of lipstick stains up here. So what we gotta do is make sure this is that this is not tiled. So let's go onto the bitmap and take off, remove the tiling. I only want one iteration of it. And you know what? I had the UVW map on here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from scratch, All right? So now we apply a UVW map. Okay, let's make it cylindrical. Let's make sure it's aligned with the glass. I'm gonna hit fit. All right, so now we got one huge set of lips there. Let's play with it now so that it's at the position that we want it. So just move it up, um, play with the tiling to shrink the size of the, um, of the lips. Rotate the gizmo if you need to, bring it up again. And now we're getting close to where we want it to be. So I'm gonna play a little bit more with the tiling here to, to make sure that it, uh, the lips are an appropriate scale. Something like this here. Move the gizmo up again. And now we're getting close to what I envision should be right. Something like this, right? Okay, so now that we know that the, um, the mapping is correct, we no longer need this material. We come back here and give uh, the cup the V-Ray blend material that we created. So now we have the color on the lipstick. We have the mask telling us how to blend these materials. Let's see what it looks like. Let's bring the render in here and render out. All right, so now we see the lipstick up here, but the entire glass is red. And this is because we have to go into the V-Ray blend material, make sure that wherever, since this is not tiled, wherever this texture doesn't appear, I want it to be black. So come over here in the, on the first slot, make the blend material black. That's the default base. So anywhere where that material doesn't appear, it's black. Now we see a strong lipstick there. If we like the color, you can play with the color here on, uh, on this V-Ray color slot. You can make it, um, I don't know, purple, purple lipstick, yellow, whatever you want to make it. I like this color somewhere around, let's make it a little bit more on the warmer side. Uh, something like that for now. And now we can play with the output to determine uh, its transparency. So let's come over here again on the output, enable color map. And let's see, let's bring this down significantly. Something like so, All right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, it looks a little bit too big. Maybe I could uh, I could have shrunk a little bit the uh, the texture a little bit more. Just it's really easy. Just come into the gizmo slot here and uh, increase the tiling. Maybe move it move it up some. Let's keep this in here so you can see it. There we go. All right. And there it is, guys. Very easily, I added those fingerprint stains, the lipstick stains. So as you see, using um, the V-Ray triplanar texture and a couple of outputs, and um, we were able to generate this smudgy glass pretty quickly. So next time on the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the following, uh, the, the interior stains, the uh, little dried out stains in here and the wine legs. And again, if you want to follow along, you can download this scene. I'm avail it's available on my blog. The link, uh, I'll post it on the description. And, uh, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. Any questions you might have, feel free to drop them below. And again, thanks for watching, everybody.